Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and I wanted to show you the Orion ED80. Now, we've had this scope in our lineup for years, um, but I don't think we really did a feature video on it, and I, I wanted to show it off because it's kind of a hidden gem. This is probably one of my favorite products that Orion has carried. Um, it's an 80 millimeter refractor with ED glass, beautiful optics. I mean, it's got that FPL 53 glass coupled with a uh, uh, matching uh, uh, glass element to give you very, very good color correction. I mean, the, the, there is no false color with this. You can push this to very high power and the image, image holds together very well. High contrast, sharp images, great for uh, pushing the power to, for moon and planets. Also, as a rich field, wide field telescope, uh, it's a 600 millimeter focal length. So it gives you that nice wide field, especially if you couple it with a two inch diagonal and say a Q70 or other low power eyepiece. For photography, it also works equally well. Uh, it's a fantastic photographic lens. I've seen some beautiful images taken of the Orion Nebula, Andromeda Galaxy, all sorts of different deep sky objects with this. And uh, with no false color, stars are nice and pinpointy. Um, if you're shooting a nebula next to a very bright star, you don't get that really ugly halo purplish hue around it. Uh, again, a very good photographic lens uh, as well as a uh, visual instrument. Now. It kind of gets lost maybe sometimes in the product line because it's, it's old school, right? It's a doublet, it's an ED doublet. It doesn't have the fancy triplet elements. It doesn't have a dual speed focuser on it, but it really doesn't need that. The, the glass in this for a doublet performs very, very well. So uh, I think it matches up uh, or, or competes equally well with some of the triplets that we've got. Uh, but you got a better price on this because there's not as much glass in it. So you're getting a really high quality high performance instrument for a very inexpensive price uh, compared to some of the other uh, 80 millimeter refractors in our lineup. The focuser is a nice smooth Crayford focuser, but it doesn't have that dual speed uh, element on it. Well, that can be nice uh, to get really critical focus, but you don't really need it. You can get very precise focus with a very smooth Crayford focuser like this. So again, it's another uh, reason that the price is kept down because it's got a simple focuser on it, but it still holds heavy equipment and it's got a very smooth motion as well. If you wanted to upgrade, you certainly can. We have a replacement focuser that can slip in here to give you the dual speed. But like I said, a very inexpensive way to get a very high quality photographic lens. In terms of features, uh, again, it's 80 millimeters, doublet. It's got a 600, 600 millimeter focal length. That's F7.5. So a nice medium low uh, power coupled with an APS size sensor, maybe like the, the G10 CMOS. Uh, imager, you get a nice wide field of view for some of the brighter, bigger showpiece objects. Um, coupled with a planetary camera and that uh, very uh, low false color ED glass, you can push the magnification up and get some very good planetary and lunar detail as well. On the front, you have a two inch uh, focuser and there's a two inch opening and it also comes with a step down from two to one and a quarter. So two to one and a quarter step down ring. Uh, it's got T-threads on the front, so you can thread a T-ring directly on. Uh, there's a uh, field flattener available that will thread directly onto the uh, draw tube here and couple with a DSLR camera, so you can get a nice flat field for wide field imaging with a larger format uh, camera. And then lastly, on the bottom, you've got a quarter 20 mounting plate, so you could attach this to a photo tripod if you wanted to use it for some just general daytime spotting. Uh, if you'd use this for astronomy, however, uh, especially for astrophotography, it's best to get the ring set. We have a, a, some rings that clamp around and then a dovetail bar uh, and it'll go onto any uh, equatorial mount with a narrow or wide Vixen or Lozmandy dovetail rail. So uh, plenty of accessories that can be purchased along with this to enhance it, to attach it to anything you want. But as a bare bones optical tube, this is one of my favorite uh, optics in the, in the store. It's got superior FPL 53 glass, Works great for low power wide field, works great for some higher magnification. The Orion ED80 uh, apochromatic refractor. Thank you very much. Clear skies.